Hello friends, welcome to VSP Solution. My name is Lokesh Radhi. In today's session, we are going to configure menus for the user in Oracle Fusion WMS Cloud. So we have some basic steps to add the groups menu. So first we have to create the screen and then we have to adding the screen to the uh, different menus and later on uh, this menu we have to assign to the groups and at the last we have to assign group to the user. So this is the complete process to configure the menus for the user. Right. So let's move on to the application and we'll see one by one how to create the screen, add the screen to the different menus and how to assign menus and group to the groups and user. Right. So this is our instance, WMS instance. So we have to first create the screen. So in order to create the screen, we have to search the screen keyword under the search icon. Screen. Right. So under the screen page, we have one option, this create icon, you can see over here, click on that. And first of all, we have to define the module for this screen. And then we have to uh, put the name for this screen, right? So first we select the module and we are going to create the groups for the UI, not for the RF. Right. So this is UI module. So let's take screen. We take the screen. Think there is this is screen. Let's select it and let's enter the name for this screen. So I'm going to enter David. Right. So this is the David screen. And let's click on save. Right, so we have created this one. This is our screen name, this is our module, and this is the screen type, right? Now we have to generate the screen for this uh, screen name, right? So select this one, select the record, which we created, and click on generate screen. And let's assign some more like uh, from the UI suppose we select the activities it's added appointment added and let's we have the facility we this facility and we can select the companies so we have the companies right more than sufficient click on save so that we create the screen
right so we have created the screen for the user right and uh, our next step is adding screen to the menu so go to the menu we have to search menu right and uh, click on the new this create icon and we have to define the name for this menu so we are going to for david menu and we have to select the screen type which we uh, tick to i html right so this is the screen type and click on save right so to begin adding the screen to the menu select the menu and click on this detail icon right so you can see this is the detail icon so this is our menu and click on this detail right so you can see over here this is our menu and you cannot any folder further folder so you can add it this name like uh, so suppose as add the as you can see you can delete it and you can rename this one right and in order to insert menu in this uh, menu so click on menu you can see let's enter the name like javit menu 2 you can see the name and we can insert the screen over here in this menu right so click on this screen you can see we have to select our screen so we create the david you can see this is our david screen select it and save it right so this is how you can add the screen to the menus right now our third task is assigning this menu to the groups so we have to go to the groups right so this is the group screen and we are going to create new group so click on this create icon and we have to insert the name for this group so david group and we are going to create for the ui menu so we have to select the, our ui so david menu is our ui menu and you are not creating any menu for the rf so leave this one and leave this also like this right click on save right so we have created this one uh, this is our groups right this is our group and the user can also assign the specific permission to a group by clicking on this permission button right and this will display a list of the additional permission that the group can have access to so let's perform it select the record click on this permissions so this is the list of the permission you can assign to this group let's select as a practice suppose we have approval rule let's select this one let's add it and suppose we have some more like in you can add the reason code and uh, we can assign task right 
so you can add as per your requirement you can provide the permission for this group right let's click on save right so we have assigned the group right menu we are defined menu to the group and our last task is assigning this group to the user so we have to move to the user so search for users so this is user and uh, this is our user test user so we have to select this record right they select this user record and click on this groups click on that so we are assigning the groups which we created earlier to the users so this is our user and we have to create so click on this create this is our user and we have to define our group which we created earlier so we have this david group right so this is the group click on save right so we have done this user we have also defined this group and also this is our group so in this way we can configure the menu for our user in wms cloud oracle fusion so thanks for watching this video thank you so much